The posterior tibial tendon connects at the calf, travels around the ankle joint, and attaches to the bones in the midfoot. It maintains the arch in your foot and provides stability. The tendon may become inflamed or torn as a result of sports injury, obesity, or certain medical conditions. Problems with this tendon are more common in women. Posterior tibial tendon dysfunction can cause pain and swelling at the inside of the ankle, a reduced arch and flat foot, weakness, and the inability to stand on the toes. When conservative treatments fail, surgery may be recommended. There are several types of surgery, and you may need more than one procedure. Surgery is used to remove inflamed tissue, improve the position of the heel bone, transfer another tendon for repair, or fuse bones together to prevent movement and add stability. Let's take a look at tendon transfer surgery. To begin, an incision is made at the inside of the foot and ankle. The damaged tendon is then identified. Inflamed tissue may be removed. An adjacent tendon is moved to replace the function of the damaged posterior tibial tendon. The incision is then closed and bandaged. Following your surgery, you may need to wear a protective splint, cast, or boot. Rehabilitation exercises can help you regain strength and mobility. You may need to walk with a cane or crutches at first. The amount of weight that you can bear on your foot will gradually be increased. Your doctor may recommend orthopedic shoes or customized inserts. Recovery varies from person to person and depends on the extent of your condition and the procedures that were performed. Your doctor will let you know what to expect. Thank you.